Hi guys, it's Chris calling. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, ciao and welcome back to my channel. If you guys have returned since my last video, thank you very much. And if you guys are new here, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. In this video, we are continuing on our Eurovision 2024 journey. Of course, this year's Eurovision Song Contest will be taking place in the city of Malmö, Sweden, on the 7th, 9th and 11th of May. And the next country to announce their song and singer for this year's contest is Italy. Sanremo has been taking place almost every night throughout this past week. Sanremo is a really big festival competition that happens in Italy and the winner of that competition has the option whether they want to represent Italy at the Eurovision Song Contest. But after night after night of competition, it eventually came to its conclusion last night and the winner of Sanremo 2024 is Angelina Mango with her song La Noa. Now guys, this was actually my first time tuning into Sanremo properly each night. And let me tell you, I have a complete new respect for the Italian music industry. The depth of talent in Sanremo this year was some of the best that I've seen in any other national final or musical competition, full stop. In Sanremo 2024, we had so many past renowned artists past renowned Eurovision artists, artists that are really famous in Italy and then going for Sanremo. What do you think of the Sanremo winner, bud? What I find absolutely amazing is that this is the first time a female has won Sanremo in 10 years. Such an amazing achievement for Angelina Mango and it has now been confirmed that she has agreed to represent Italy at this year's Eurovision and I can't wait to see her on that stage. So we're not going to waste any more time at all guys, we're going to dive straight in. This is Angelina Mango with her song La Noa. Let's go! She looks so stunning. Her voice is incredible. I love the beat behind this and the way that she moves on stage. It's like, it's cheeky, it's sassy. She's got so much attitude as well. She is a star. Oh, she, her moves are incredible. And you can tell she's really feeling the rhythm of the music and she's staying in tune, she's hitting every note. She sounds unbelievable. This whole San Remo staging was absolutely spectacular as well. The way she tells the story through her face and like you can hear the emotion in the way she sings as well. Oh, the live orchestra as well. It's bellissima. Gone nice and quiet now. This is so dreamy, so atmospheric. Oh, this a cappella bit is stunning. I've got goosebumps, her voice is absolutely phenomenal. This isn't even the first time I've seen this and it just, it's captivating. She's ready for Eurovision. Getting the crowd up involved as well. Yes. 
So there we have it guys, that was Angelina Mango with her song La Noia representing Italy at this year's Eurovision Song Contest. That has actually woken me up so much after last night's late night San Remo. Angelina Mango is a star. The way she just has the full package. This song is a beautifully written song and I really, really love the message behind it and the, how jivey it is and funky it is as well. It sounds quite traditional to Italy, but at the same time, it sounds really current and fresh. Angelina Mango's voice, it goes without saying, it's impeccable. I have to take my hat off to Angelina Mango because she's been singing every single night since Tuesday and from the final performance that she did last night, you wouldn't have been able to tell whatsoever. Honestly, she was impeccable last night and she just kept on getting better as the week went along. That's a rare talent to find in an artist that can keep up with that demand. And it's because of that that I think that she's going to be able to handle Eurovision like a champion. Eurovision demands a lot from the artists in terms of the amount of rehearsals that they have to do. You've got the family shows, the preview shows, and of course the grand final itself. I've got total confidence that she's going to be able to handle the pressure and have the stamina to get through those shows and give every performance like she did at last night's San Remo final. It goes without saying she looks absolutely stunning on that stage. She is a star. She's an icon. She doesn't need anybody else on that stage. She doesn't need any backing dancers or anything else. She just needs herself. She is the show. This is one of a few performances this year that I'm like, this is Malmo ready. She is ready for that Eurovision stage. How this will do in the grand final, I'm not 100% sure at the moment. This is absolutely an unbelievable song. I think it's a beautifully written song. And I think it can definitely, at the moment, the quality of this song, along with her voice, the way she looks and the, well, the way she sells the performance to the audience and to the camera as well. We haven't got all of our Eurovision entries yet, but I can already see this finishing in the top five. That's how good I think this is. Like I said, I don't think this needs much more elevation, but you know that she's going to bring something special to that stage in May in Malmö. And I can't wait to see it. Overall, I absolutely love this performance. Hats off to Angelina Mango and all of the San Remo participants for everything you've done this week. It's been one of the best song competitions I've ever watched. So congratulations to Angelina Mango and wishing you all the very best for this May in Malmö at Eurovision. So that's what I thought, but I want to know what you guys think. What did you think of Angelina Mango's performance of La Noia? Is this the final result you were expecting at this year's San Remo 2024? And how do you think Angelina Mango will fare at this year's Eurovision Song Contest in May? Let me know in the comments below. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I will really look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye guys.